Have you ever needed to transfer a session from one DAW to another because you prefer the workflow and features of a different workstation? I've recently had a recording session at a studio here in town which operates a Pro Tools system, and to finish the track here at home, I operate out of Luna, which means we've got to talk about migrating sessions into Luna. After all, while there are many DAWs on the market, Luna is unique in its ability to allow you to mix with built-in analog summing, tape, and channel strips with Luna extensions. Record and playback as many tracks as your machine can handle for free, and work efficiently with Luna's contextual smart tool and focused browser. Hey, my name is Steve Kinney, producer, engineer, and content creator based out of Nashville, Tennessee. In this video, we're gonna look at how to migrate session data from another DAW to Luna using AAF, WAV files, and MIDI. Now, since I already have a session in Pro Tools, we're certainly gonna cover the migration process out of Pro Tools, but we're not stopping there. We're gonna go through migrating a session from Logic, Ableton, FL Studio, Cubase, and Studio One. Let's get it going. First, let's take a look at how we can quickly import an entire AAF session through the Luna Create page with just a few clicks. Once we open up Luna, we're ready to create and import our session. The first thing we're gonna do is name our session. Next, you'll notice the Start From header. Here, we're gonna start the session from AAF. Choose our file. Now we're ready to bring in our markers. You'll notice right underneath the AAF file that's been populated that we have an icon that says Add MIDI. Click here and load the MIDI file we created alongside our AAF export. Now, let's be sure to save this new Luna session to our proper folder location that we want. Now we're ready to hit create. In just a few clicks, our session is recalled and ready for further mixing in Luna. AAF, or Advanced Authoring Format, is a format used by DAW and video applications like Avid Pro Tools and Adobe Premiere to exchange sessions. Fortunately, many popular DAWs support it, making it easier to move sessions between the different programs and collaborate with other creators. Luna can create new sessions using an AAF file, the audio files generated when the AAF is exported, and by using a multi-track MIDI file generated along with the AAF file. When you export or import an AAF file, you can get that session's audio tracks with their time positions, fades, and track names. This is obviously great because you get up and running much faster, and it makes it so that you don't have to do any sort of manual track consolidation and generate increased file sizes. What's typically not included is any automation, panning, buses, plugins, or virtual instruments in MIDI. That said, markers can be imported, however, that lives outside of the AAF file, and we'll touch on that a little bit later in the video, along with how to bring in virtual instruments. Starting from an AAF is great if you're wanting to take the foundation of a session created in a different DAW and mix with the power of Luna's extensions and mix engine. To get started on exporting your project from Logic, you'll wanna make sure you do a few final preparations before you're ready to start the export process. When exporting AAF from Logic, plugins and processing are not included on the export. You get the raw clip, so if you have a track with Melodyne or if you have a particular set of plugins on a track that you need as part of the export, you'll wanna make sure you bounce those tracks in place first. Additionally, take folders do not transfer, so only the top layer of a comp track will be included, so be sure you've comped your tracks. The top layer of the comp will be imported exactly as you see it in your current session, so if you need to readjust a clip, you'll be able to do so. If you have MIDI instrument tracks and you plan on continuing production further, it'll be a good idea to join all regions for each track, as well as saving a preset for that specific instrument inside the instrument's plugin window and not via the Logic Preset Manager. We're now ready to export out our session. Go to File and select Export Project as AAF. Check your audio settings. Choose a location, name the file, and export. To bring over your Logic Sessions MIDI and markers, we will export out a MIDI file. This MIDI file will allow us to transfer tempo, time signature, and marker information. Now bringing in the original MIDI file is useful if you're continuing production with different software instruments in Luna, like Shape. Before we can click Export, tidy up your MIDI regions. You can join multiple MIDI regions into one using the keyboard shortcut Command plus J. Be sure to delete any muted parts or unused takes. If no MIDI exists but you want to transfer tempo and markers, create an empty MIDI region and add a random MIDI note. To export your MIDI from Logic, go to File, then click Export, select All MIDI Tracks as MIDI File. Choose a location for your file and export. Now you're ready to move forward with the import and session creation process in Luna. 
To get started migrating my session from Pro Tools, I'm gonna first do a few basic preparations. Since this is a session from another studio, I'm gonna make sure that all my tracks are named in the nomenclature that I want them to be in. I'm also going to make sure that all of my tracks are properly comped. If there are any tracks that have special processing that I wanna include on the export, I'll make sure to bounce those in place first. Now that I'm ready to export, select all tracks in the session by option clicking on a track. I'm going to go to File, Export, Export Selected Tracks as AAF. From here, we will select AAF, make sure that we check Enforce Media Composer Compatibility, double check that if your project has stereo tracks in them, that you're exporting them as stereo channels as well. In this case, we will deselect this to make sure that our tracks will export out as stereo. You'll also want to double check if you need or if you want any sort of sample rate conversion. Choose WAVE for audio file type, decide what bit depth you want, choose consolidate from source media, name your AAF file and choose where to save it, and press save. Save your exported audio to the same location as the AAF file and click open to start the export process. Now let's look at bringing over all of your Pro Tools sessions, MIDI and markers. Click file, export, MIDI, and use the following settings. MIDI file format should be one, multi-track. Location reference should equal the start of your session. And make sure you apply real-time properties. Click OK to export MIDI. Save the MIDI file to a useful location. It's important to note that if your session doesn't have any MIDI, you can still migrate the session tempo and markers. All you have to do is create a new blank MIDI track and draw a random MIDI note. Then just follow the normal export process from there. AAF works very similarly in Cubase. It's only going to retain the audio channels, so we need to do the same kind of prep work to our session in Cubase as we did in both Logic and Pro Tools. First, I'm going to render in place any specific tracks that have processing on that I need to keep. Similarly with my MIDI, I'm going to make sure that my MIDI tracks are all one clip, and if I want to bring back that specific MIDI instrument, I'll save a preset for it within that specific instrument's plugin window. Now we're ready to begin the export process. Be sure to set your export range to cover the whole song, set the from and to locators at the beginning and the end of your project. Go to File, Export, AAF. Select the channels to export from the export window or pre-select them in the project window to automatically include them in the AAF export. Select a folder for the audio export. Next, choose Copy Media to ensure the audio events are linked to the AAF project. In the Options subheading, we're going to choose Export All in One File. This combines the AAF and the media files into one package. Stereo tracks are converted to dual mono. Click OK. Name your AAF file and press Save. Now you're ready to export out your MIDI and markers. Go to File, Export, MIDI File. Select the location you want to save your files in and press save. Make sure markers is selected as an option. Remember to also save your MIDI instrument patches if you're planning on bringing over MIDI into Luna for further processing with instruments like Shape. Click OK. Now you're ready to move forward with the import and session creation process in Luna. In Studio One, we take a similar approach, bouncing in place any tracks we need to preserve, saving instrument patches, or adding a MIDI note on a blank channel for marker and tempo data. To export, we will go to File, Convert To, select AAF file from the submenu. Choose a target location and name for your AAF file. Press Save. We will now choose a few additional options from the submenu to include. Be sure to choose Embed Audio. This stores the WAV file within a single AAF file. Double check if you need to do any sample rate conversion and choose Convert Audio Files if you do. If the sample rate is OK, you can ignore this checkbox and move along. Be sure to select Export Pan. This will enable Luna to pan accordingly during session import. Now, we're ready to export a MIDI track to allow us to bring in all of our MIDI and markers. Click File, Convert to MIDI File from the File menu to export the entire song as one MIDI file. Tempo, Tracks, and Track Names are retained. All audio events are ignored. Standard MIDI files exported from Studio One are compatible with Luna and easy to import. Press Save. Now you're ready to move forward with the import and session creation process in Luna. 
AAF is extremely powerful, but not every DAW can export sessions in that format. Let's take a look at two more popular DAWs that in this case do not support exporting AAF and how to bring those sessions into Luna easily. Let's first jump into Ableton Live. Ableton Live has a very straightforward approach to exporting files out of the application for collaboration and sharing. Because of this, our process to rebuild our session in Luna will be almost entirely manually completed. To prepare your export in Ableton, be sure to save any instrument patches for recall. You'll also want to consolidate all MIDI events related to a particular track. To consolidate a MIDI track, select all related MIDI clips, right click and select consolidate. From here, we can get started exporting. Go to File, Export Audio, Video. Select Rendered Track and choose All Individual Tracks. Make sure your render start and length span the entire song. Next, decide if you want the master effects to be included in the export. Make sure Render Loop, Convert to Mono, Normalize, and Create Analysis file are all deselected. Choose your sample rate, select Encode PCM, Choose WAV file, select your bit depth, choose export, choose your save location, and click save. To export MIDI, manually right click on the target clip. Choose export MIDI clip. Choose your save location and name for the file. Click save. Repeat this for your other MIDI tracks that you plan on importing. From here, we're ready to import into Luna. Jumping into FL Studio, there are two ways to bulk export your project. You can either export every mixer track or every playlist track. First, let's look at the exporting from mixer tracks method. This method allows you to export each channel in the mixer and it allows you to bypass the master bus upon export. Since multiple playlist tracks can be routed to the same mixer track, those playlist tracks will export together as a stem. To get started, go to File, Export, Wave. Name the file and select your save location. In the dialog box, be sure to select your bit depth. Then make sure Split Mixer Tracks is selected. This is what allows you to get the individual tracks out of FL Studio's mixer. Decide if you want to include your insert effects in the export. Be sure to save tempo information. Press Start. From here, you'd be ready to bring the WAV files into Luna. Now let's look at a different approach where we export playlist tracks. This allows you to export every playlist track individually, even if they are routed to the same mixer track. Because it exports these one by one, it does take longer because it allows you to render through the master bus one at a time. To get started, go to File, Export, Export All Playlist Tracks. Choose your save location. Be sure to select your bit depth. Decide if you want to include both the insert effects or the master insert effects. Be sure to select Save Tempo Information and click Start. It's important to note that neither method will carry over your session's markers, nor will it bring over your MIDI data. Similarly to the other methods, you will have to manually export out your instrument patches as well as exporting out the MIDI clips. To export the MIDI clips, you can either manually export each piano roll or you can use the export macro. The export macro is slightly destructive to your project, so it's important to save a new version of the project before we move forward. First, go to File, Save As, New Version. Next, go to Tools, choose Macros, Prepare for MIDI Export. Then go to File, Export, MIDI File. Name the file and select your save location. Be sure to choose full song to consolidate each playlist track into one MIDI file. Now we're ready to import into Luna. Now let's look at how to import into a new session from DAWs that do not export AAF files. For the DAWs like Ableton and FL Studio, importing is very easily handled by dragging and dropping. Simply create a new session, assign the proper tempo to your project. Now let's be sure to save this new Luna session to our proper folder location that we want. Now we're ready to hit create. Now drag the WAV files into the new session. If you've attached the tempo metadata to your WAV or MIDI exports, be sure to click use tempo map. Next, drag the MIDI file into your session, select and use tempo map if applicable. You can now assign your instruments to the corresponding MIDI track and if you've saved your patches, recall them once the plugin's loaded. So there you have it, importing sessions from another DAW can be as simple as drag and drop or as painless as importing from AAF. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. 
please subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel and be sure to share your ideas and improvements for Luna using the feedback menu in the top right corner of Luna. Now, as always, go create some music. See you in the next video. Cheers.